very good morning uh, it's a revision series we are discussing now one more questions uh, chapter yavudappa andre life process hangadre one by one it maartta hogana andre ontra audio notes ra one by one kelta hogana first question what is a nutrition the process by which living organism take in food and use it to obtain energy for a growth and development is called nutrition okay next question what is the role of saliva in digestion of food okay it converts starch into simple sugars hoda saliva dalli amylase anno enzyme ide you know amylase anno enzyme ide amylase anno enzyme enu maatadu andre hoda maltase anna maltose aagi convert madutte maltase anna maltose aagi enu maatadu convert madutte okay it is the what role of saliva the next define peristaltic movement the contraction and expansion movement of the walls of the food pipe is called as a peristaltic movement next name tissue that transport water and minerals xylem what is the role of acid in our stomach hydrochloric acid hcl of a gastric juice acidifies the food and it disinfects the food by destroying harmful microorganisms present in the food particles what is emulsification the process which the breakdown of large food food globules into small uh, what uh, fat globules by the bile juice is known as emulsification name the cell organelle in which photosynthesis occurs okay it's a chloroplast next define transpiration the process of loss of water through the stomata present in earth present on the leaves of a plant is called transpiration what are stomata tiny pores present on the surface of leaves are called stomata stomata helps full helpful in exchange of carbon dioxide and oxygen next what is the role of pepsin enzyme in stomach pepsin enzyme breaks down into protein okay pepsin converts pepsin converts protein into protein into polypeptides polypeptides next what are villi the finger like projections present in the wall of in, what intestine small intestine are called villi what is the respiration the process in which glucose is break down with the help of oxygen and energy released along with the production of carbon dioxide and water is called respiration what is diaphragm a thin membrane which separates chest cavity and abdominal cavity is called diaphragm define double circulation food travels thrice through the heart in one complete cycle of the body is called uh, double circulation what is a lymph lymph is a white fluid made up of white blood cells especially lymphocytes the cells that attack bacteria in the blood okay it is called as a lymph what is a translocation transport of a food from leaves to different parts of the plant body is called as a translocation what is a excretion okay uh, the process in which wastes are removed from our body is called as a excretion what is a structural and functional unit of a kidney it's a nephron okay now we are going to discuss about two mark questions how is small intestine digested to absorb designed to absorb digested food okay first uh, digestion is a one of the longest process taking place in the human body the process of digestion involves several steps as well as the organs it starts with the mouth and ends at the anus it track is also referred to as eliminatory canal the organs involved in the eliminatory canal are mouth esophagus stomach small intestine large intestine small intestine is one of what one among them and plays a major role because villi is present in small intestine they absorb the food and uh, transport to full part of the body each and every cell they helpful to uh, supply the food draw neat label diagram showing a open and closed structure of a stomach uh, maximum they ask in exam okay uh, these are what guard cells then what this is a stomata 
then uh, the green tiny structures are there those are called as a chloroplast then the guard cells are if open they have open structure then it's called as a open stomata if the guard cells are closed then it is called as a closed stomata with a open and closed structure of stomata write the equation for the process of breakdown of glucose in cell in presence of oxygen okay in presence of oxygen glucose c6h12o6 okay uh, in presence of oxygen breaks down into carbon dioxide water and energy okay large amount of energy is released here in this reaction in absence of oxygen where it takes place uh, it takes place in uh, they wrote a wrong reaction it's okay uh, in the absence of oxygen c6h12o6 breaks in uh, anaerobic anaerobic respiratory some organisms like a bacteria uh, they produce a ethyl alcohol that's a ethanol carbon dioxide and energy here the amount of energy is released very less next uh, aerobic respiration occurs in glial plants anaerobic respiration occurs in uh, what saprophytes yeast write the difference between inhalation and exhalation the lungs expand with air and oxygen diffuses across the lungs surface entering the blood stream exhalation the lungs ex exhale air and the lung volume decreases next uh, the chest cavity increase in size due to downward movement of the diaphragm the diaphragm moves up and uh, the chest cavity becomes narrow exhalation list the three events which occur during photosynthesis the three events that occur during photosynthesis process are chlorophyll absorb light energy and it split the water molecule into oxygen and hydrogen conversion of light energy into chemical energy formation of carbohydrates by reduction of carbon dioxide these are the three steps in the photosynthesis how does transpiration helps in upward transport of substances transpiration helps in upward transport of substances in plants by drawing water up from the roots during the transpiration water evaporates through pores in the leaves called stomata this creates a negative pressure or a suction pressure in the leaves that helps to move water up from the roots through xylem what are the difference between autotrophic nutrition and heterotrophic nutrition in this mode of a nutrition food synthesized from inorganic substances okay in heterotrophic nutrition in this mode of a nutrition food is obtained from autotrophs or another organisms next for autotrophic nutrition chlorophyll line sunlights are required next for heterotrophic nutrition chlorophyll and sunlights are not required food is generally prepared at day time autotrophic nutrition food can be obtained any time all green plants and some bacteria poses a autotrophic mode of nutrition fungi and animals poses a heterotrophic mode of nutrition next what is the function of digestive enzyme digestive enzymes helps in the breakdown of food so that the nutrients can contain uh, within the food can be absorbed next the hydrochloric acid present in our stomach dissolves the bits of a food and creates an acidic medium in this acidic medium the enzyme pepsin break down proteins this is the protein digestive enzyme next write the functions of the component of food rbc rbc red blood cells are red blood corpuscles they carry the protein hemoglobin okay hemoglobin is in a one type of a protein which transport oxygen from lungs to rest of the body each and every cell white blood cells wbc are white blood corpuscles they are primarily responsible for protecting the body uh, from infection they give a resistance system to our body they are defenders of our body blood platelets they help in blood clotting process at the site of an injury they help to blood clot internal or external why is small intestine in herbivorous longer in carnivorous herbivorous have a longer small intestine than carnivorous because they eat plant 
and grass based food that are high in cellulose which takes a long time to digest to digest grass herbivores have a longer intestines than carnivores carnivores eat a flesh okay there is uh, but to digest a flesh no need of a long time three mark questions describe the process of double circulation in human beings the heart receive deoxygenated blood from different parts of the body and it pumps this blood to the lungs the oxygenated blood from lungs return to the heart which is pumped again into the different parts of the body by heart thus the body passes twice through the heart making one complete round through the body this is called as a double circulation pulmonary and systemic circulation the blood flows from the right ventricle to the lungs pulmonary veins collect oxygenated blood from the lungs and carry it to carry it back to the heart to left auricle the aorta receives blood from left ventricle and send it to various parts of the body veins collect the deoxygenated blood from the body parts and pour it back into the right auricle right auricle to uh, superior vena cava and inferior vena cava through superior and inferior vena cava what are the methods used by plants to get rid of their waste products the various methods used by plants to get rid of their waste products are first one the plants get rid of gaseous waste products through stomata in leaves and lenticels in stems they get rid of solid and liquid waste by shedding of leaves peel uh, what peeling of bark and what uh, falling of fruits secreting gums and raisins this is also type of uh, excretion in where plants plants excrete some waste substances into the soil around them give reason for the following arteries are thick walled blood vessels arteries carry oxygenated blood from the heart to different parts of what different body parts blood emerges from heart under high pressure in order to withstand this pressure arteries have a thick walls veins are thin walled blood vessels veins have a thin walls because vein collect the blood from different organs and bring it back to the heart the blood is no longer under pressure and the blood flows only in what uh, in one one side that's why uh, they have a thin walls veins have a walls in them main function of a walls is to prevent backward flow of a blood since the blood pressure in vein is very low they have a walls that prevent back flow of blood then write a difference between aerobic respiration and anaerobic respiration it is a process of cellular respiration what a cellular respiration that takes place in the presence of oxygen gas anaerobic respiration it is the process of cellular respiration that takes place in the absence of oxygen gas okay then aerobic respiration seen in the cytoplasma and mitochondria anaerobic respiration seen only in the cytoplasma aerobic respiration glucose breaks down into carbon dioxide and water anaerobic respiration glucose breaks down into ethyl alcohol carbon dioxide and energy aerobic respiration this type of a respiration is found in higher organisms like mammals anaerobic respiration this type of a respiration is found in lower organisms like a bacteria monerans write the difference between xylem and phloem xylem tissue helps in the transport of water and minerals phloem phloem tissue helps in transport of food water is transported upward from roots to all parts of the plant body food is transported in both upward and downward directions okay transport in xylem occurs with the help of simple physical force such as a transpirational pull transport of a food in phloem requires a energy in the form of atp atp in adenosine triphosphate releases energy okay draw a neat label diagram schematic diagram they asked okay uh, then we have to write here parts one by one uh, important part is a uh, aorta okay then uh, left auricle left ventricle right auricle uh, right ventricle septum okay this is a superior vena cava this is inferior vena cava okay then uh, these are 
ഒരു പൽമറി ആർട്രീസ് ദി ക്യാരി ബ്ലഡ് ടു ലങ്സ് ദീസ് ആർ പൽമറി വെയിൻസ് ദി ബ്രിങ് ഓക്സിനേറ്റഡ് ബ്ലഡ് ടു വട്ട് ലെഫ്റ്റ് ഓറിക്കൽ ലെഫ്റ്റ് ഓറിക്കൽ ടു ലെഫ്റ്റ് വെൻട്രിക്കൽ ലെഫ്റ്റ് വെൻട്രിക്കൽ ടു അറോട്ട അറോട്ട ടു ആൾ പാർട്സ് ഓഫ് ദ ബോഡി ആൾ പാർട്സ് ഓഫ് ദ ബോഡി ടു വട്ട് സുപീരിയർ വെനാക്കേവ ആൻഡ് ഇൻഫീരിയർ വെനാക്കേവ ഇൻഫീരിയർ വെനാക്കേവ ടു റൈറ്റ് ഓറിക്കൽ റൈറ്റ് ഓറിക്കൽ ടു റൈറ്റ് വെൻട്രിക്കൽ റൈറ്റ് വെൻട്രിക്കൽ ടു വട്ട് പൽമറി ഓറിക്കൽസ് പൽമറി ഓറിക്കൽസ് ലൈക്ക് ദിസ് ഫ്ലോ ഓഫ് ബ്ലഡ് ഓക്കേഴ്സ് ഇൻ ഹ്യൂമൻ ബീങ്സ് ഓക്കെ ദിസ് ഇസ് ദ സ്കീമാറ്റിക് റിപ്രസെൻറ്റ്സ് then next draw a neat label diagram of human elementary canal and label the parts okay here they ask esophagus okay food pipe is called esophagus then here it is a pancreas here it is a what uh, pancreas is here it uh, produces two enzymes one is insulin another one is glucagon then next one small intestine it's here small intestine it's here then next uh, uh, anus anus this is anus okay excretion is done through anus then draw a neat level diagram of human excretory system and label the following parts okay see this is a left kidney then urinary bladder it's a urinary bladder then uh, what uh, ureter d option ureter then it's a ureter what it's a ureter this is what these are the main parts of a human excretory system then draw a neat diagram of a structure of an apron and label any four parts they asked okay uh, very important parts are collecting duct then glomerulus bowman's capsule then uh, what uh, henle's tube it's a henle's tube okay these are the important parts renal artery branch of renal vein okay these are some parts are there then next uh four marks questions are there uh, uh, in small clip four marks questions and five marks questions i will discuss with you later thank you thank you so much